Hi folks, welcome to episode 4 of Nice Like That Video Cookering, RB Special Chuck Roast. Uh, got a really nice chuck roast here, uh, well marbled, two medium onions, four big cloves of garlic, smack flat, baby carrots, and six sprigs of fresh thyme from Mrs. RB's extensive and lovely herb garden. What we're going to do first, I've got some oil in this pot over here. I'm using a cast iron pot. This is ultimately going to end up in the oven. I'm going to take the meat. I'm going to drop it in. Come on in, JR. Get a little bit closer shot of this. Probably hear that stuff working in there. It says when they're carrying it on. Basically what we're doing is we're searing the meat. We're searing in all the juices. Searing in the flavor. Uh, take his opportunity to put a little bit of pepper on here. That ain't working. A little bit of pepper. Salt. I smell that beef cooking already. That's going to be good. You don't want to stick on you. are just trying to brown this. Get a little bit of color on it. Searing all the juices. That's basically what we're trying to do. Um, once this thing browns off good, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a uh, put a can of beef broth in here. What you want to do with your liquid with pot is you want your liquid up before it covers the beef. Um, I'll add some seasoning and stuff that I've got in there as well. I've got a little cup of uh, goodies here I mixed up earlier. Got some uh, Worcestershire soy sauce and another ingredient or two. Salt top of this side as well. We'll cut that heat back. Our oven. Preheated to 350 degrees. That sound right to you, JR? This is meat browns. Oh yeah, this is a good color on that. I just might flip it over a couple times. I just put up what I want is I want it, I want it brown. I want it like that. Put a little bit of color on it. So it's going to be a whole lot more tender and juicy as it goes along. We're going to team to let that brown for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and dump in this mixture of stuff I've got there. We're going to put the beef broth in. This is going to come up, and basically what you're trying to do, like I said before, is you, uh, you don't want to dry out on you. That's perfect. It just came out exactly perfect because what it's doing is it's setting right up on top of that beef. All right, we're going to go ahead and put our vegetables in. Take this garlic. I put it in the four corners of the pot here. and we'll spread it around a little bit so we get that good garlic goodness. Baby onions kind of push them down in the holes here. Whoops, there's one from Miss Sassy. Hit the floor. Spread that around a little bit. That's going to keep it kind of sweet. Onions can just go in in my chuck roast. I love onions. They're going to impart a very nice flavor. Your thyme, put the whole sprig in. Don't worry about shucking this off of here because the whole sprig is coming out when it's done cooking. You will not believe how much difference fresh thyme makes. The fresh herbs, period, for that matter, in anything that you're cooking. All right. We got this straight. We're gonna get the oven heated. We're gonna take this bad boy. We're gonna put it in. It's probably gonna cook 350. May very well take an hour and a half, two hours. You don't want to go over 350. You're not trying to boil this meat. You're just trying to slowly cook it. Now I used an iron pot. You can also actually use a like a, a cornerware casserole dish. I've done that before, and that works just as well. Uh, the reason I use iron pot is I like to brown that meat before I put it in there. Uh, along with this, what we're going to have is we're going to go ahead and fix some uh, some RB's special roasted potatoes uh, with rosemary and a little bit of fresh thyme. Uh, I'm also going to do some green beans, string beans, or snap beans, depending on what geographical area you are in this country. 
um, taters, beans, and beef. We'll be right back. All right, everybody, we're back. I'll show you how to fix these snaps. Kind of flying solo right now. I don't have a cameraman. I'm the best I can what I got to work with. I'm going to dump in a can of high quality chicken stock into two cans of strained snaps. Green beans, whatever you want to call them. We're going to put in about a one half of a medium to large size diced onion. Come on in. Old one hand. Get all that in there. These need to simmer for a while. Now you can put garlic in here. <clears throat> Sometimes, depending on, I guess, quality of the garlic, I don't know, um, maybe how high you boil it, you may end up with, uh, with a little bit of bitter taste in there. That's why we discontinue using the garlic. Uh, but crushed garlic's the way to go if you want to use garlic in there. So we've got these, got these snaps all rolled up, ready to go. We'll cut the heat on, cover them, and should be done here in a little while.